Okay guys, back with another setup on a set of Corsa, again a Monza, ticking another car off the list of the GT3 cars. This time it's the Nissan GTR GT3, a car that is really nice to drive around this track and we've got it set up very well. Um, I'm really happy with the setup, so we're going to start our lap and go through a very quick track guide for yourselves. Heading into Turn 1, we can break pretty much on the 150 yard board, even though we're carrying a lot of speed into Turn 1, breaking down into first gear, skim that apex and into second gear before we come out the exit. Hard on the power, we have traction control on level 5 and you can really put the foot down with this setup on traction tr control level 5. Approaching the second chicane now, we're going to again break very late for the speed we're carrying and we're going to break pretty much dead on the bridge, the bridge over above has a shadow underneath you see now. So we're going to slam on the brakes just there, going down into second gear and try and hit that apex nicely. We ran a little bit deep into that corner but with this car you can still turn it in and get on the power at the same time and it just grips. So back down to third gear, chucking it in again into the first part of the Lesmo hard on the power rear just slides slightly but it just grips anyway back down to third gear chucking it into that corner and hard on the power again approaching now we're going to look again we actually ran a little bit wide there i don't know what i was doing a little lack of concentration my own thought maybe lost a tenth or so on the acceleration there now approaching the second um, bridge now where we're going to use the braking point as and braking down into fourth gear then into third gear hard on the power in third gear really chuck it in with this car you can get hard on the power into fourth gear use the curb car doesn't even react at all to the curb even though we attack that curb nicely going into the next braking zone again we're going to break between 150 yard board using probably closest to the 50 yard board even though the speed we're carrying again breaking down into third gear trying to get it nice and tight on that corner hard on the power again and the car just grips even though we're hard on the power there is definitely a potential for a 1 minute 47.5 or 6 with this setup and um, we go over the line for a 48.3 but again we didn't spend too long on this um, hot lapping i just wanted to get this base setup out and i knew that this setup felt really nice this setup should be as good as the lamborghini it's going to be very equal to the lamborghini to this car for this track but i personally would choose this car over the lamborghini because i just prefer the way it drives on this track so looking at the setup you can see we went very low on the aerodynamics so obviously you can't have any front aerodynamics but only two on the back gearing we altered and it feels really nice we actually left a little bit of extra in sixth gear you can go down to 177 but i actually went up to 182 just to give it a little bit of a slip if we get in a slipstream it's going to make this car really good for overtaking so on power um is 10 and differential 50 feels really nice on this car Um obviously we're running traction control on level five that's basically because we've gone low on the aerodynamics um, if you want to run it off you're going to have to up the aerodynamics and that's going to then lose you time on the straights which you don't want um, tyre pressure is down quite low on the front and obviously 18 on the rear this track doesn't build much temperatures up rear camber angles are very low again to improve the speed of the car down the straight front camber is reasonably not too um, low obviously with the fact that we want it to turn in on the two lesmos and the last chicane front toes and rear toes are set up for straight line pretty much and it really helps actually dull the, the, the oversteer in this car, running the toes like that. Um, ride height, again, it's not far off the default. It felt really nice. And a few changes within the damper settings. One point to note is on the ABS, make sure you run it on level 3, I would suggest. Um, it feels really nice on level 3. It gives you a nice turning into the corners. If you feel it a bit too much, run it back down to level 2. And obviously remember the traction control is on level 5. Anyway guys, make sure you again, you leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my, my channel. And also make sure again, leave some comments in the comment section if this video has helped you out. If it's improved any of your lap times online, if it's made you win a race. Anything that you want to just let me know about this setup that's helped you out. Please, please put it in there and I do read these comments. And I try to reply to as many as I can. Thanks again for watching.